about growing up in new york like thinking all the way back and obviously you come from a musical household what's what's the first music you remember growing up listening to yeah mm, my mom played a lot of billy holiday when i was a kid which sounds like it wouldn't it's not really transferred into my songs but i think blues and jazz were like big influences on me as a kid and then as i got older um I think I got more into like PJ Harvey and stuff my dad was listening to um like black motor black rebel motorcycle and like I don't know just like kind of bands that he was listening to but they both both my parents kind of listen to different stuff um so I think it gave me a good like diversity of what I was listening to um but yeah I think, I mean, my hugest and my biggest influences now are definitely PJ Harvey is one of my, like, I like love everything that she did in her career. I really love it. It seems really like she respected her artistry. Like she tried a bunch of different stuff, worked with a lot of different people. And then you kind of like over time gain the respect that you want. Like, I think I'm definitely playing a long game. I definitely want to have a career that I'm like really happy about and feel like I tried all the things I wanted to do. Um, not like bursted in my first thing. And then it, it feels very like robotic and industry and like stuff like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I think I'm happy with, with how things are going. Well, obviously putting out a single, which is five minutes long as your first song. That's, <laughs> that's not an obvious move in the first yeah. place i think you're kind yeah. of you know, you're definitely doing things your own way so would yeah, you like, say bye bye like, radio place <laughs> <laughs> would you say pj harvey was was something that, uh, like is that music something that reminds you of your teens of the whole, whole period of growing up i think i think late teens i definitely got into pj harvey more honestly at first a lot of the stuff my dad was trying to show me i kind of rejected obviously because I feel like when you're a kid you're kind of like I want my own thing like this is not like don't tell me what to listen to but after a while I was like oh shit like after I found it on my own again right. I think I was like oh shit this is this is so cool like the lyrics the attitude like the videos everything it I, I think I like her the most because she has an amazing balance of feminine and masculine which I I try to do um because I think it's cool to to go through both um because some songs feel more more feminine and I think it can be fun if you twist it a little bit and bring a different kind of like presence in it so and are you somebody that keeps up with new music like are you listening to a lot of stuff that's, that's current kind of I think that I don't risk I don't really listen to a lot of like pop music current pop music um but there's this band Moin that I've been listening to recently. Um, it's M O I N. Okay, don't know them. Um, they're really cool. I mean, I think I find a lot of stuff through friends um, and like going to shows. My music taste is kind of strange. I listen to a lot of different stuff. I, sometimes I'm listening to electronic music, like um, techno music and. Like, and then it'll go into like, maybe like Brian, you know, like moments. I feel like I'm the type of person that when I listen, when I like an album, I like listen to it to death. And I just listen to that over and over again. So yeah, my, I, I guess I just, I sink into like moods that I'm in and then I like pick an album that's going to like fit that and just have that be the soundtrack for that week. Yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thanks again. Really nice talking to you. And um, good luck with everything that's coming up. Thank you so much. How does it feel?